today we're having us a party, uh-huh. I murder mystery party, uh-huh. Murder mystery party! Intrigue at Sparkling Water by Juan Sosa and Harry Sosa. Ages 18 and up. These are a role-playing game for eight fun and entertaining while something shocking. Industrious Jacob Hart is dead. He was shot at close range. Or was he? Having a us party. Uh oh yay. Murder mystery party. Uh oh hey. They made all kinds of these murder mystery party games. Uh they're kinda like sort of kind of like one and you're done for the most part because I think once you solve them they're like a good game for a one and you're done shots that's probably why these didn't go over too well because you could only play it a few maybe a few couple of times and then uh, because once the mystery solved they solved they're uh, nostalgic though they're old uh, anyway, it says Jacob Hart, rich, industrious, and water bearing, was found dead, slumping in his office chair. He was apparently murdered in his with his own rifle. Why was he shot? Everyone loved old Jake, or did they? Woo 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 woo. And here are our suspects. We got Wendell S. Drugman. He may be rich, but he is none too tough. He never stands up to anyone except this one time? Maybe. Sandra B. Trugman. She is the county assessor and loving wife of Wendell. Everyone knows that business makes strange bedfellows. Has she checked her bed lately? Ooh. Guy Varley. Plant foreman at J... NH, robbery, blackmail, bribery, and revenge are all in his portfolio. What about murder? Allison Bell, local bartender and singer. What has she really been thinking about when she sings, You've Got to Have Heart? Maybe she's talking about Jacob Hart. Barry Ellis, neighbor of Jacob Hart and JNH. He was seen leaving the scene of the crime. Maybe he committed it. Karen Sue Ellis, sister of Barry, a neighbor to Jacob Hart. She is single and a fiancé of Jacob Hart. At least she was his fiancé. Pat Ellis, mother of Barry and Karen Sue. She is a tough ranch woman capable of... Capable of raising her children and protecting them against all threats. Was Jacob Hart a threat? Mm. Thomas Jefferson Banks. Local attorney to all suspects and the victim. Oh he knows that it will take more than a good memory to solve this murder. Or maybe he committed a murder. <laughs> Contents. The following materials are included in this package. Invitations to be mailed to your guests. Background information on the roles to be assumed by all the guests. A synopsis of the murder committed. And background on the victim. Name tags for each guest. Evidence and clues. The solution to the murder. Complete instructions to host your party. We're having us a party. Uh uh, hey. A murder mystery party. Uh uh, yay. Recording of the murder. Good times for groups. University games, murder mystery parties are an excellent way to spend an evening with friends. They take two to three hours of play. They're filled with intrigue, suspense, humor, and the fun of playing both the detective and the suspect. The enclosed story is fictitious, and any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Or are they? Anyway, here's all we get and stuff. There's a bunch of good stuff. There's a bunch of good stuff in these murder mystery parties. 
Oh gosh, man, look at all this stuff. Man. There's a bunch of stuff. Man. We got like the party instructions. The rules. We got the rules up in here. Rules. Can't play a game without rules. We got these police report, homicide, division. These are like a... Uh, these are... Every player gets one of these, I guess. It looked like they just... Somebody copied those. We get this amazing recording of the murder that you can listen to if you have a 33 and a third RPM uh, rec uh, CD player. Well, the game did say cover at 1980 something. Then you get these like invitations that you send out to people. These are like the invitations you send out to people. You get like envelopes. Got a bunch of these invitations. I'm gonna go. You got like a group evidence sheet, so everybody gets to see this. A little, little story in the newspaper. Whatever, like a little. Smir then we got. The author solution. Uh-uh, you're not allowed to look at that and stuff. Shh. Then we got these uh, stickers here so that you can put on the different people that you invite. You invite the people to show up to play the game and each person gets to, you know, they play a role. Uh, and depending on who you are, you get these, like, little packages. You got Gary, Wendell, Karen. Sandra. Allison. And Thomas Jefferson. So you got these different players. We'll look at the players in a minute. Then we got... Uh, Oh, she's. Oh wait, you got Patricia Ellis and Barry Ellis too. So, so basically, what you do is you mail out the invitations to the peoples. Oh yeah. And then when they show up, each peoples gets a. They get a, a thing. Having us a party, hey, a murder mystery party, oh, oh yeah. So, as you can see, when you pull these cards out, each player has their own little deck of cards. Each player has a background. So this is Patricia's background. Then you, each player has a chapter. You're not supposed to open these chapters. Uh, so, uh, like, something goes on, like a round passes or whatever, and then you have the chapters, and there's four chapters, and it's broken hearts, shooting out his mouth, don't bank on it, and let's get hammered. Those are chapters. I'll show you the, uh, backgrounds of each player. But I won't show you the rest. You have to play it to find out the rest. Now we got Thomas Jefferson Banks' background. So y'all can like pause that. You know, screenshot it, whatever. Read it. If you want to know about the guy. Now let's look at Karen Sue. Wendell Dugman.
Allison Bill. Sandra Tugman Gavarly And Barry's background. And the solution. This game's as old as me. Copyright 1986. Ooh, the mystery solution. You better read that fast. Time's up. You don't get to see what the solution was. Unless you paused it. And screenshotted that real fast. So that's everything you get. It's a game that's almost unplayable because they don't make these things right here anymore. But, uh... And sometimes you find them and they don't even have these things. But they're old things that were... I guess these murder mystery party things were popular in the 80s. Late 80s, early 90s, whatever. Back when they had these things right here. Anyway. Uh, go have a party, hey. A murder mystery party, yay. This was back before they had computer games and stuff. And people actually got together. And they, you know, they actually had friends. And stuff. Uh that would come over and they would play games and it, this was like a role-playing game you played as one of the suspects but while you were also playing the suspect you were also trying to figure out uh, who the murderer was so one of y'all played the murderer and the other ones of y'all played the suspects but I'm not sure if the person playing the murderer realized they're a murderer until they play the game for a little while and then they figure out, hey, wait a minute, I'm the murderer. Anyway, remember God is good? All the times, all the time, I'm the God is good. Keep on gaming, game on. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. Jesus is God, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is King, and Jesus is ruler of everything. Creator, sustainer of everything. And if you have a real party, don't uh, just uh, comment down below some cool parties you've had. Um, also, um, murder it, murder it is one of the sins that's in the ten commandment. It's one of the sins that's in the ten. It's one of the big ten sins. Anyway, uh, it says thou shalt not murder. Uh, so don't actually murder people. Now self defense. And taking life in self-defense is not the same as murder. And taking life in... <sighs> Justice is also not murder. Capital punishment is not murder. And, um... Self-defense is in, like... protecting one's family and life is not murder also you might want to check out Avenger of Blood because Avenger of Blood is a justifiable homicide type deal where you are allowed to go after someone who murdered your family member and uh, pretty much get them get them back that's how Avenger of Blood works as long as they don't get to a refuge city first. Anyway, have a great day. Later.